Good evening, everybody. When it comes to staying safe in a quake, seconds really do count. The reason this happened today is this happens. This is every earthquake that has shaken Nevada in the past two weeks, which is why North Las Vegas, among other places, took part in the great shakeout today, a mock drill at City Hall, duck and cover, the whole bit, and they evacuated for safety. They came out safely, and we actually beat our time from last year. Last year was five minutes, 40 seconds. This year, they actually came out within five minutes. Nevada is the country's third most seismically active state. I get notifications every day of earthquakes in the state. Professor Wanda Taylor is a geology expert at UNLV. She explains why the Las Vegas Valley can be a sitting seismic target. So our mountains are rock and our valley is soft. It's material, so when the wave comes in, it's kind of like a bowl of jello, right? Warnings help, which is where a million dollar grant from the U.S. Geological Survey comes in. The money will help experts up at UNR build more seismic stations up north, but also elsewhere along the Nevada-California border. Robert DeGroote is with the USGS. Nevada maintains a, a large number of stations, and many of them are in California. Because what happens in California doesn't stay there. The shaking hits us, too. Some of the new monitoring sites will be in Death Valley. The faults in Death Valley can have high, large magnitude earthquakes, and they are close enough that they will shake Vegas. California is also doing something that, when we get the money, may come here, too. Today, that state unveiled a new earthquake warning app. In the meantime, that hill on Bonanza, that's one of the seven known earthquake faults in our valley that we hope stay silent. And Dr. Taylor tells me they expect big quakes here roughly, roughly every thousand years. So they're trying to pinpoint when the last big one hit. Jeff Gillett, News 3.